We're looking now at an event which could cause some trading volatility for the week starting Monday the 4th of March. And I want to wind the clock forward to Thursday, just after midday here in the UK, the 7th of March, when the European Central Bank delivers its latest interest rate decision. Now, there are a number of factors affecting this. Uh, it's widely expected the ECB will start to cut interest rates come June. The problem is, is inflation is coming down, but it's not coming down as fast as many had been hoping for. The uh, flash rate that we saw out on Friday uh, for inflation, the headline number came in at 2.6%. Yes, it was down uh, from 2.8%, but it wasn't down as much as had been expected, down to 2.5%. And it's the same sort of thing as well uh, for the uh, for the core rate. Uh, we were expecting a drop to something like around about 2.9% from 3.3. It only came down to 3.1. So there is going to be a niggling doubt about what the European Central Bank is going to deliver. If it does indicate that it wants to cut interest rates, possibly just once, may even be just for this year at its June meeting, then the markets are on track. We could see some volatility around the CAC, around the DAX. We've seen record highs recently for some of these European indices on hopes that the European Central Bank is going to cut interest rates and will cut interest rates soon and possibly more than once this year. Now, if the inflation rate does continue to remain stubbornly high, and it is sticky, and it has come down, but it's not come down as fast as many had been hoping for, Will the European Central Bank be wanting to maybe wait another rate decision uh, before cutting rates? And that could have a big disturbing effect on many of these markets. Let's take a look at the euro dollar, which is where I want to take a look at this potential trade. Uh, as we stand at the moment, uh, we're a couple of hours away from the start of trade on the US equity markets, just to give you some sort of context, on Friday the 1st of March. So there's a lot of water to pass under the bridge. And of course, we've got the uh, ADP uh, private payrolls out in the States on Wednesday, which could give a disturbance to this market. And then on Friday after the European Central Bank, we've got non-farm payrolls as well. So it is actually going to be quite a big week for the euro dollar trade for the DAX, the CAC, the uh, US markets as well. But I want to focus in on this because we've got um, an area down here of support at 106.95. We've got an area up here of resistance at uh, 108.97, let's call it 109, uh, which is the upside. We're pretty much in the middle of that at 108.16 at the moment. Uh, so we'll have to see how things travel, but I wouldn't mind betting that we're going to see a fairly benign start to the beginning of next week uh, because of these events which are due, uh, which are likely to mould and be a pivot point uh, for the week. That's ADP, um, most notably for this particular uh, look at what's happening for the ECB on Thursday and non farms on Friday. So if there is an upside at 108.15, your stop loss goes underneath the uh, 108 level with a view to taking it up to 109. But I think that upside would be uh, euro appreciation. And that would be in a case where the European Central Bank would say, look, maybe June might be a little bit too early for an interest rate cut. Uh, if we see that the ECB is willing to go, and despite the fact we've got sticky inflation, is wanting to cut interest rates in June. Uh, and then we could well see some downside potentially for the euro. But it is uh, an interesting event to watch out for. And without nailing my own colours to the mast, I think it's important to consider the potential upside and downside. But certainly volatility will be around this event on Thursday, the 7th of March.